Hi everyone, this is Penny. Penny and Creations. How are you today? I hope you are having a beautiful day. <laughs> hey everyone. I said let me make a video. <laughs> I am breathing much better. I wasn't sick, I just was so congested and I was breathing really heavily out of my mouth and that didn't sound nice. So got through that much better. I had a beautiful birthday and a lovely Valentine's Day and I hope all of you enjoyed your special day as well. All right, everyone. This is just a hodgepodge of just me shopping for things I needed so um it is exciting for me <laughs> that's why I ordered it and I am missing I'm not missing um I just ordered some yarn from Lion Brand they had that sale that I couldn't pass up and then I was like hitting my hands like why did you water stuff mm -hmm. so let's get started what's on this table first of all i ordered fabric this is so pretty um this came from joann's mm -hmm. something new that they had and when i saw it i thought about uh juneteenth in my neck of the woods um most likely in the park we call it in the park so usually it's um east orange or west orange south orange park or down in north they they have a a big park that they always have um celebrations at as well so most likely it's going to be vendors in the park and Calvin and I most likely will have a table. I know before the pandemic, um, Calvin had a table and he did very well. So my thinking was on that, um, to start getting some things ready to be sold, you know, cause I, I try and hustle. I really do. I think this is so pretty. Mm-hmm. And it's, it'll also make a nice bag, too. Mm-hmm. It really would. So, Lion Brand, I think about two weeks ago, they had the, um, yeah, because Black History Month um, arrived February 1st, they had a sale on on the fabric and also 20 or 25 percent off coupon if you pick up and of course calvin had that on her because i didn't want to go out because i was so congested so he picked that up for me i do not like shop online and pick up in the store i just don't like it i, I don't know i just don't like it so this is some other fabric that I had. This is new. And this is some previous fabric I brought. Now, this fabric I purchased, I purchased this. You probably can't even see this. I purchased this fabric to make bonnets. But bonnets, it takes a lot of fabric. Uh-huh. And also to do embroidery. Mm-hmm. Maybe make some crosses, things like that. And, of course, I have the matching fabric that goes with it. You know, so you probably can see all of this. These colors to coordinate. Mm -hmm. And also if um, we needed more mass because um, this would be a color that will go on your mouth. 
So for instance, if you had a darker color on the outside, then you will have a lighter color on the inside. So you want to have a contrast in color so you'll know what color, the lighter color goes to your mouth if you get a little confused. Uh -huh. And then a lot of this was a for embroidery. Mm -hmm. I have some stuff I need to show you more of that. Um, I may have an upcoming video up on something that um, I'm going to make Calvin. So a lot of this is um, for my embroidery. It's not that much fabric um, to make anything. I probably can line a bag. That's about it. But I didn't buy it for that. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about this kente cloth for a little bit. Now, hold on, bear with me. This one. Now, Joanne, they cannot keep this stuff in stock, and plus it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. So, it's a misconception about this cloth. Now, it was brought to Africa, this is something, really something, by the Dutch. It didn't originate in Africa. And the Africans, of course, they are known for their bright colors and they took to the fabric mm -hmm. so back then you know you had that trade going on you know and they brought the fabric over not all of the fabric but the, the um, some of the um, African fabric or the kente design and another misconception is that everyone cannot should not wear the fabric that's not true anyone can wear the fabric anyone can wear the fabric now you do have fabric for kings and queens that you cannot wear it is so funny you can't wear it you know a thousand dollars a yard of course you can't wear it you can't afford it you know what i'm saying to make a garment, you know, when you need five to seven yards or ten yards, though, who has ten thousand dollars? You know, same thing with the um, Middle Eastern um, kings over there. You see that silk they wear. Yeah, um, you can't wear that because you can't afford it. You know, not you per se, but I'm saying this is just so expensive. So they do have in Africa the kings and the Queens, they do have fabric that we cannot wear. And primary reason for that is because we can't afford it. You know? And they do have some fabric that is just designed just for them. And if you think about the Pope, think about his stuff. Can't afford his stuff either. I mean, his shoes alone, you know, the red bottom shoes. And how they are um, designed and, and cut for his specification for his foot. So, you know, you think about the queen um, clothing. So, it's just a misconception about that. Now, if you run across, if you're in Joanne, this cloth feels the same as any other cotton cloth. How, if you go to a warehouse and they have... Some of the African fabric. And I have one. And it feels it's rigid. It, and you can even hear it. You can hear it and you can see it. It's feel wax. So this is cheaper than this cloth. And if you ever purchase this. There's nothing wrong with it. You must wash it before you make any project because you're going to have shrinkage and you need to get that um, that wax feeling 
out of it. Um, that's what you you need to do because this was brought at a fabric warehouse not too far from my house. Mm -hmm. And I did some research on it because I couldn't understand why was this so tough like this. And I learned that this is, I would say, a lighter, uh, more or less expensive fabric, how it's manufactured. But I do have a piece that I washed. And once you wash it, it, it feels just like this cotton wool. Okay, everyone? So... And that's the information on that. So I have to see what I am going to come up with because as you can see, you know, I wouldn't call it, you know, kind of busy designs, you know. I have to see what I come up with. I really like this one. This is pretty too. This is nice for a suit. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I tend to go overboard. Especially when it's a good deal. Now they had the bag that matched this, but of course I put it in my shopping cart and laid down, which I know better. And I came back um no more than two hours and they were all gone. So they had this one left this bag left this was 74 cents after it was two dollars after the discount and my coupon mm -hmm. and what i use this for is that you know if somebody's shopping at the table i can all i can put their merchandise in here so, you know 74 cents you know you can add taxes on for 74 cents and of course, people love to have a bag other than a plastic bag. And plus, it helps the environment. And I think I purchased 20. Yeah, it looks like 20. Mm -hmm. And that's how it ship. They put them all in here. Um, Joanne's. And it shipped it like that. Mm hmm. So that's that i may make me a bag out of this i really like this something about them folks <laughs> okay now they also i was satisfying and shipping as well so i brought one family member uh a diamond dot um mini mouse she said she didn't know what diamond dots was so i picked this up for on myself This, I'm not sure. It down here looks really nice. Where's the picture? Right here, really nice. Now, I'm working on an elephant, and actually, it is too dark. It's too dark. I had my light on, and I was looking through the magnifying glass, and then I had my Cricut light pad. And I was still struggling. It could have been also a poorness with the writing on the diamond dot canvas that some of the letters and symbols I couldn't make out. But I'm just going to work around those areas until I can find some young eyes. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to stay away from my elephants until, um, I don't know because the colors is just too dark for me i'm, I'm not um, my eyes is not that they good but they're um changing so i recently started on a peacock and that is going great because i can see all of the colors and with my hand um next monday will be a month since the last time i crocheted and it's still a little sore here, but it's nothing that requires medication or or um, cream. And it's not constant either. So I am trying to hold on for six weeks. And hopefully um, things improve. And if I start crocheting and it start hurting again, 
then I'm going to make appointment I'm with the doctor. And I am struggling because it's not too many things I can do. Um, you know, because um, I'm trying to rest a hand. So, don't want to say I'm bored, but I'm struggling. Mm -hmm. So, that's what's going on with the hand. Is Everything is feeling so much better. I just want to wait for six weeks and let the hand heal. And then, I'm back to crocheting. I also picked up some um, freestyle uh, diamond dots. These are pretty. I think these are the AB. These are metallic, so they have that sparkle in them. It's already, it's already tore. That's okay. Yeah. So I probably probably use these on some blanks that I got from Michaels. I'll show you that. So these are just standard colors, free form. Mm-hmm. And these was such a good buy. They were on sale and then I had that coupon. Mm-hmm. I asked Calvin months ago why I can't keep my craft rooms um neat. He said um, because you keep shopping. And I never thought about that. You know? Keep shopping and it keeps getting out of out of whack. Yep. Now, this one, I really wanted this. This is the Illusion by Diane Reevely. She does mixed media and she has um, paints and, and sprays and stuff. Um, and she probably looks just like that. Mm hmm and I she does the journal journal as she paints her pages before she starts um, writing on them and things so one of the the gels that she used was these now this is not the one that I really wanted because it's a the three pack I wanted had a smaller it had a smaller one and this one is, is really large and wide. But these were the definitely two gel plates that I want. And I also have one of her other ones. I, th I think it's just one complete size. I think it's probably this size. I don't want to say an eight and a half by 11, but it's big size. And I like it because you just, you take the brayer and you roll the paint and you put it on the paper and it comes out really nice you can write in it you can put objects in it um you can use leaves branches um you can use a bottom um, the bottom of a glass or a bottle you know different shapes and then you press it on your paper now i have to learn how to write upside down mm -hmm. So I really wanted this for years. And I waited too late on her paint and she discontinued that that paint. Mm -hmm. It's probably I probably can get it on Facebook Marketplace. I probably can get it there. And this is perfect for my journal. I have her journal. This one, this is perfect for her journal. And then she used the red stamp a lot as well. And it, it comes out really nice. And the mistake that so many people make, they use too much paint. Mm-hmm. And I see a lot of people, they take the gel, the gel plate, and they hack it. And they, they use a Pyrex dish. And then they struggle. And they just, just buy this. Just buy this. And keep it in, um... If if you get this, try to keep it and um, put it back in here. If if you can, I'm not sure because I did buy the the container to house these in, and it's um, probably downstairs in the dining room where the rest of my items are for my birthday. And this will keep it protected gel and keep it um, 
from not drying out. And Hobby Lobby also sell, they don't sell dilution, but they sell another one. So just buy, just buy the gel plate. You'll be happy you did. You won't waste so much paper and so much ink trying to get an impression on your paper. Mm -hmm. Sometimes hacks are good and sometimes they are just a mess. So so happy so happy i do have the um like i said her journal and these two she used these two a lot in the journal and so my journal is different i use my journal for um motivational quotes whether i receive something via email or I come up with my own mm -hmm. I also picked up some stylus I probably given these to my family member I thought these was a little bit longer I wanted something longer this diamond well let's say jazzing this up these diamond dots are getting a little bit expensive and I picked up this case because I cannot the 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 elephant I'm working on the diamond dots is on the shelf over there, but it's in a box, and sometimes I have a hard time locating it in Calvin. So Amazon happened to send me a suggestion item to purchase, and I looked at this and I said this would be cool. Um, because of the case, you know, if I want Calvin to come up on the third floor and get this for me, I can say, Hey, it's purple and black instead of it in a box. Cause the other one is in the box that it came in. You know, that's what the other one is in. And this nice accessories with this one. Mm -hmm. The funnel. A, a larger scoop, extra um, dot glue. This is, yeah. So, uh, some stylus tweezers. So, really, for the um, the accessories, I got it for like this one because mine's the ones I have. This little one, and when you shake the diamond dots. And they don't line up because it's this thing is so small. You know, this is much larger. It lines up. So that was one of the reasons also why I got it. Mm -hmm. And being that the kit I'm working on, 1922, it's 22 diamond dots. And this whole case holds 60. So if I want to work on two diamond dots at um, one time, I can, or I can prep. I can prep for. Let's see if I can turn you down. I can prep for another one, and the only thing I would have to do is um, tape it off and cover it, so I know that's not the one you're working with. And this one had an awful smell to it. Really awful smell. Reasonable price if you're interested. I can look at my account and see if and forward the information to you. But I like this. I really do. Nice for traveling. Mm-hmm. Nice for traveling. What else we have? I brought another one of these because... I gave my, I gave, I had two. I gave one away, and of course, this is mainly for sewing. But I use this for my cotton yarn when I'm making my bags, and and I use two two yarns. I I use two to put together to crochet the bag. So 
that's why I, I need two so they can um, come off the comb together. So I think this was 40% off and then I had that 20 or 25% off additional. I finally was able to place, replace this. Mm -hmm. What else is going on here? Oh, this was the, this is some vinyl. This is some vinyl that Michael started selling last year. And it was just too expensive. It was $22.99 for it. Yeah. So, I will probably put this on a cup or a shirt. I'm not even sure. Yeah. So, I think get ready for hustling. You know, if you have an Etsy shop, people are going to be looking for stuff on June the 10th. And, uh, you know, you can make hustle. Uh-huh. And this is the same kente, but it's uh, more of a purple instead of the black. And trying to think. I don't know if it was $9.99 or $12.99, down from $23. And I had $15 reward. Mm -hmm. Just have to wait. Just have to wait. I sure missed those 60% off. I really do. Mm -hmm. Got to wait and got to hustle. Nobody gonna give you nothing. Yep. Okay, while well, I'm going to the second one, let me just say, everyone, thank you so much for continuing to support me. And I have a lot of new subscribers from that came over from um, Creative Grandma and some people were just stopping by because they saw a giveaway and Google rep recommended them. Thank you so much. And let me just warn you. I'm not a person who shows my face a lot. I will be showing my face soon because I want to give a little speech. And if you want to know why I don't show my face, because this works better for me to show these things. Um, instead of trying to concentrate on focusing the camera. So I just got comfortable with it. It has nothing to do with uh, my room junkie or anything like that. That's what I'm just comfortable with that. So that's that. I did order two carts from Joann's. You know, Joann's is still having that organizational um, sale. And I picked up two carts. They were $102. And I didn't get, I didn't pay $40 for them. So, I'll show you the, the cart soon because I want to show you my craft cart I got last year for Christmas. And they had that, the, the carts on sale and then the coupon added because I picked it up in the store. So, yeah, just the deals. That, oh, I'm looking at the receipt right here. They were $12.99 a piece. Mm-hmm. What else is in here? Oh. Ooh. Maybe not too much yarn. I looked on the site seeing if they have some of the, the anniversary cakes. They don't. And as of today, Thursday, 17th, Michaels have a lot of new color yarn, new yarn, not new yarns, but new colors in, in their yarns and um, some pretty spring colors they have. So if you get a chance, you can uh, view those and see what you may be interested in working with in the future. I brought another craft bag. This was on clearance for $5 because the my other one, the same one, is just overflowing. 
So when I work at my table, only thing I have to do, and it do sits on the floor behind me to the right of me. I just have to pick up my bag and sit it right on my table. And when I'm finished, I just sit it right back on the floor and has all these compartments for my scissors and my rulers and my tapes and my glue and my cutting, um, cutting trap mitt and all this other stuff. So this was $5. This was clearance. I didn't get anything off this. I didn't want... I'm like, okay, Penny, you got, you gonna have two bags now. Why don't you just get one big bag? And I was like, no, I don't want one big bag because uh, small things may fall down. So what I'm gonna do is split the some of the larger things up, and this way, um, it'll, cause the other one just overflowing, it'll make it more neater. Mm -hmm. And, okay, see, here goes some of the suggested items right here. See how this doesn't focus? I need a new phone. Oh, I feel like spending that kind of money. I need one, though. I have a tendency to change the software on you, so you have to buy a phone. But I need, I need, a, need it for memory and camera improvement. I think I have the last one. Water break. I was gonna say something else, I just blew up my brain. And these are some of the blanks that I was saying. You can't even see because I moved the camera back. Okay, these are some of the blanks. We call it blanks. Um, I don't even know what to call us. We we have some of the channels. You have the sublimation channel, which is uh, ink that releases gas and put the picture on there. Or you have the people who specialize in, in vinyl. Or uh, DTG. There's so much going on out there. So we call it blanks that anything you can add something to or painting so of course i showed you the butterfly i put rhinestones on and the cross so i picked up some blanks these were 97 cents now let me give you a tip now michael's have a lot of the blanks that the dollar tree have are we still calling it the Dollar Tree? And they are 97 cents. So they would sell them for a dollar. Like the cross I, I showed you and a butterfly, those are a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And at Michael's, they are 97 cents original price. Original price. And Michael's give you... 20% off regular price. So you can use a coupon on top of that. So just be mindful of that. Um, that the blanks, not these, and, and as well as the big ones are less than a dollar. So when, if you go in there, you wanna try your hand at, at uh, putting some paint or, or some glitter rhinestones on things you know just just look over there because it's cheaper than the dollar tree take a butterfly that's gonna be cute and these are all keychains mm -hmm. these are really pretty so i picked these up mm -hmm. i love I, I try to get kids involved in class mm-hmm it gives me a cute excuse to be in to grab. <laughs> so I got these. And of course, being that these diamond dots are so small, and then I have the rhinestones that that's really small. I can I can put them on here because they won't I don't need so many dots or rhinestones. Mm-hmm. Are the color ones. 
Most likely I'll give some of those to my family members, not too much. To be honest, not too much because I like my craft stuff. Mm -hmm. What else is next? What is this? Hold on. I'm missing something. It's probably downstairs on the dining room table. My, my Christmas, my Christmas, my birthday. What is this? Oh, uh, this is um, some stuff for me to make jewelry with. Mm -hmm. I need a couple more items for my bracelets that I showed you not too long ago. These bags are wiped off before Calvin brings them upstairs. Okay, so I needed this versified ink pad. And of course, some more rhinestones. Mm -hmm. Either clear hot fix. You can use the hot flicks. One lady um on um YouTube, she said you can use the hot flicks a fix on non-clothing items. It doesn't have to be on clothing. So I'm going to try that myself and see. I'm gonna try it myself and see. I don't see why not. Mm-hmm. I just suggest a good glue. Like the six thousand. And some of you complained that the 6,000 was smelly. I did hear that. I do have the 6,000, but I have not used it as of yet. And another channel that uses a lot of six, the 6,000 glue, E6000, she said if you get the smaller tubes, they have less of a smell. I do have the smaller tubes. I haven't used either one of them. Okay, what else is in here? See, I tell you a bunch of stuff. Um, this is for I can't show you this for a giveaway. This is just um something I get every month. Spellbinder Club. This is the typewriter, which I really love. Uh I am a secretary by trade. Everything I learned is through my education as a secretary. This is some giveaway stuff. For me to see and not for you to see. Yeah. Giveaway. Of course, I made it to 7,000. Thank you, everyone, for helping me. <laughs> I'm all over the map today. And the celebration is Monday. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go fast. I'm telling you, it's Monday. So... I have to get, I was so glad this came in from Lion Brand. I ordered that for the, for the giveaway before I even made 7000 This is some stuff for the diamond dots. And this is the birthday gift I bought for myself. And I did want to go to the yarn store and get yarn. But with that heavy congestion and some coffee in there, I stayed there. And um, the house. I haven't been out the house since I had my booster shot on January the 5th. So I think hard when I about going outside. And I definitely would love to get to Lion Brand Outlet before what, the 17th or the 27th of March because that's the last day they're going to be open. I'm going to go say bye to Sandy and the rest of the crew. So I didn't go to the yarn store and buy myself anything for my birthday. I don't show what Calvin brought me unless it's some crafty stuff. And he didn't buy me anything crafty. He used to go to Walmart every month when he would go pick up water. He would go and get and bring me back yarn. I dropped my water, everyone, on the floor. But being that they reduced the yarn aisle down to a quarter little section, like about the size of this box, you know, I don't get any yarn anymore. Okay, now, 
This I was very excited to get. I was very excited to get this. This is the Chago. I thought this pouch would have been bigger. N needle. I haven't even really um, opened this. I just opened it for my birthday and then I just closed it back up. I didn't examine anything. So this is the set that I purchased for myself. Looks like it will open all the way flat. Weird. All right. Mm. Where am I at? Okay, here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 13. 13 different size needles. It runs from a US 2 all the way up to a US 15. Now, let me just say, I have seen these pouches, um, of course, um, different um, online places and then people have reviewed them so I always knew about them for the last um I would say two years now this is called the red lace and the twist red lace interchangeable so I was aware of this I wanted these things even before I learned how to knit it was just something about these things they was they was the recommendation was just high. Every time um, someone talked about it, it was just high marks across the board. And I I wanted them, and I, even before um, I was able to knit, like I said. Now, what, what made me not purchase, take so long to purchase them is because I was afraid that the court would come off that's what what helped me back now I I brought this the boy when I did learn how to knit and I brought this from Joann's and I had a 60% coupon off this and this is not inexpensive at all these needles are nice even the cord the memory is not that bad Okay, you have the memory, you know, like right here, but it, it, some cords I have, you, they twist like this. The memory is that bad. So even with this, the memory is not bad. Only thing about this, that this thing came apart on me. Mm-hmm. It came apart while I was knit. So... That's what turned me off from buying these. You know, the the attachable cable. That's exactly what turned me off. Now, I have to be honest with you. I did get a little lazy and not keep tightening up the thing. But who wants to stop, you know, every, every two rolls and, and tighten up that thing? Who wants to do it? I don't. You know, and it just came apart. So this brand is not one, not my favorite at all. I stay away from that brand. I do not like this brand. But overall, this is a good set. When I purchased it, um, I was going out the door and the lady had saw what I brought. And she was like, oh, that's crap right there. I was said to myself, oh, yeah, thanks for raining on my parade because I was excited about getting them. And although I had that bad experience with it, um, it still is a very good set. It is not inexpensive at all. I had the 60% off coupon. That was one of the reasons why I picked it up. And, you know, my work just came apart. That's it. So I'll probably give it another shot just um, to test and see did I have it tightened correctly or not. You know, I'm a little bit more experienced than I, what I was. 
a year, uh, two years, two and a half years ago. So give it another shot and see. Um, because this is a good, it is really a nice set. Um, don't want to talk about the company name, but really nice. So that was one of the reasons why I stayed away from the Chai Go. Um, I was just frantic that I would be knit and, and this thing will come apart. Now, I gave you the 13 needle sizes, not all of them. And then they have the the cables that you get. This is a small and this is a large. And from what I read, you can combine them and I think you can get a 60 inch something for making a blanket. And of course you can buy more of the cords. I'm hoping the cords are cheaper than buying the needle itself because that would be pointless right there see how this doesn't the memory mm -hmm. what this cord reminds me of it reminds me of the cords that's on the bridges mm -hmm. okay now let me give a shout out to um darlene discovering it now Darlene, she was one of the few people I have seen several reviews on the interchangeable lace. She was on one of the few people who did an excellent job. She even answered some questions that I was hesitant about. I, in the description area, I'm going to put the, the link to that video so you can go and watch it because you may have some questions yourself and she went over everything she did doing just a better job than I am as far as all of the stuff that was was included where's the rest of the stuff now I have uh, is it on, on the pockets hold on she did an excellent job with including everything going that went that came with it she had the she has a different one that came with the bag i found that to be unnecessary for the amount of money they were charging now i do need one of these because on the knitting needle they have engraved the the size i can see it right there but you have to tilt it a little bit to to read what it is or you just can use one of these to find out what size it is. And this is an eight. Mm -hmm. And I don't have one of these. I want to get a wooden one, but this is fine for now. Um, stitch, um, stitch markers, all different sizes. These are nice too. I'm going to probably have to put another stitch marker on there because if that falls on the floor, I'm never going to be able to find that. So, Darlene, she did an excellent job at reviewing hers. And she went over everything, you know, that was in it and did some other, um, made some other points. And these are all of the tools you need to, to tighten your cords up and actually put in if you if you need the needle if you're working with a project and you need the needle how you can take the needle off and still have the cord in there and then secure it so your stitches doesn't come out now let me give you my two cents on this company um of course, Chago is out of China. You had two brothers who um, raised, I think, in, in, in one area. Of course, I cannot pronounce their name, but it's known for bamboo. And they made furniture and other things. But one of their main things was making um, bamboo knit needles. And their mother was, a, or is, an arrogant av knitter. Um, excellent knitter. She knit and took um, orders 
for people in in the neighborhood um, to support a family of seven. And she was instrumental in designing these needles. That was one of the, um, she was one of the main um, reasons uh, behind the metal, the, the metal um, needles um, from the bamboo. Now these tools, they, they are designed in Troy, Michigan, although they manufactured in China. And the brothers wanted to be able to sell their stuff internationally. And I understand that the 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 plant or the company in Troy, Michigan is, is doing excellent. Mm-hmm. Very successful. I think they started in 2005. And the name Chai Gu means highly skillful and crafty lady. <laughs> and that was for his his mother. Mm-hmm. Now, these, the ones I chose, this length is a five because I'm more comfortable with the five because of my hand size. Um, and if I didn't say that, this is red lace. And red lace was designed for knitting lace. So these was designed so they didn't snag the lace. That's what they were designed for. Lace knitting. That's exactly what they were designed for. Now you may see the knitting needles. That's a four inch. And then you'll say, see them for a five inch. And you want to know what is the difference. Okay. Common sense is one is longer than the other. But the four inch, that's allowed on the airplane. The five inch is not. This is five. Not the size. Not because it's big. Even if it was this small, it would not be allowed on an airplane. It's too long. But if you had a four inch, you can go on an airplane, even if it's this thickness. They'll let you, they won't let they'll let you um, keep your work intact. Mm -hmm. So that's only that's the only difference. And <clears throat> why did I choose this one is because this has a Um, what do you call this? Anchor. I don't. You probably cannot even see this, but on here, it's a hole there, and it gives you. Um, hold on one second. Hold on. Where is it at? I'm not saying it right. That the cord joiner. No, it's not even on here. Lifeline. There we go. It get this has the hole in it for a lifeline. So if you say for instance, if I was traveling and I need to fly, then I would put a lifeline through here so I can remove the needles and put them on a, ca a carrying bag. Or if I was working on a project and you're supposed to do this every so many rolls, put a lifeline in. So if you need to pull anything back, you know, it'll work in your favor. But some of us um, get lazy and swear they're not going to drop a stitch like me. Or no, they can drop a stitch and pick it back up. So, <laughs> But you, when you're working with certain patterns and um, certain stitches, it, it, some people will put a, a lifeline in there. And that's what, one of the reasons why I got this one. Definitely was one of the reasons. This one, this one does not have that feature. It doesn't have it at all. Although you can add it, a lifeline in yourself, 
this one is very easy to knit and put the put the thin thread through there similar to a frosting thread that you use for your teeth it's it's easier to to put it through there so this was really the main reason why i got this particular set this does have a returnable to to amazon the other one that i wanted i think that was two hundred dollars that were not returnable and it was from a site that i was unfamiliar with so i didn't even bother now like i said i did not go over this stuff so i'm gathering these are more pockets that i can add more needles more needles in here yeah i guess so something here uh-huh maybe some double ended needles as well i'm not sure if you can buy these separately i haven't done any research like that so i'm happy with this i hopefully that i'm knitting with these and it doesn't my stuff doesn't come apart now how am i going to use these i am only going to use these when i do not have a available needle sometimes i use wooden my other wooden bamboo knit needles and i'll order what i need from amazon and in the meantime i don't have to wait for my knit needles to come i already can knit with the other ones that i have and then when these show up in the mail i'll replace it out so that's that was one of the reasons why i got this not to continue a project with because i'm telling you i am very fearful i'm still fearful of this so i'll get out in and in, in, and um, check out um, Darlene's Discovering Knit and her video on this. She does an excellent job. Excellent job at going over um, her kit. Mm -hmm. So that's it, everyone. Wow, I've been yapping too long. Didn't even know I was on here this long. I had a lot of stuff to show probably forgot something well i'm definitely not gonna bring over those two cabinets but that's it um yeah i didn't buy too much um craft stuff for myself for my birthday um i'm probably go out and get my yarn um next month and if i when i do get it i'll show it to you okay they do have some instructions here I didn't read anything because um, uh, we had a um, a small gathering for my birthday. So I just looked at my stuff and I said I would enjoy it later after my family left. All right, everyone. Again, thank you for your support. I'll talk to you soon. Friday, tomorrow the 18th. I have to make a video to announce the winner. And then Saturday, another video to announce that winner for the 19th. And then I think the 20th, we start the celebration. All right, everyone. Thank you. Appreciate your support. Don't forget to like this video. And if you're just passing by, and if you haven't subscribed, I appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.